सर आवाज नहीं आ रही है सर प्लीज टर्न ऑन योर माइक एक्सक्यूज मी सर सर भी नहीं सुन पा रहे हैं कॉल करो ना कोई कोई मजे तो नहीं ले रहा हमारे से मेल कर दो सर को मेल मैं कॉल कर रहा हूँ सर गया गया कॉल कर रहा है वो फिर भी हमारा फर्ज बनता है <laughs> सर सर अरे सर पढ़ाई जा रहे हैं पढ़ाई जा रहे हैं सारे हैंड रेस कर दो हुआ क्या सर आवाज नहीं आ रही सर का कॉल भी नहीं लग रहा क्या बोल रहे हैं पक्का सर ही है और कोई है मेल करो ना मेल मेल कोई मेल करो लो ना सर जी एक मिनट में हो क्या गया भाई सर तो आज ही नहीं लगता अरे मौस चल रहा है तो अभी अभी हुआ देखो मोह चल रहा है जब से स्टार्ट है तब से चल रहा है हाँ कर सर चल रहा है भाई सर अपनी धुन में मस्त है रिकॉर्डिंग तो बच्चों चालू कर दिया है क्या रिकॉर्डिंग लेक्चर तो नहीं है ऑन हो गया सर से मैंने मेल भी कर दिया माधव है यहाँ पे माधव माधव पढ़ाएगा ये आज देखो जी एक सर ने बनाया फंक्शन जिसका नाम रखा है रिमूव वर्ड भाई अगर सर को सुनाई दे रहा होगा तो तू गया यार ऐसे कैसे गया यार बच्चों को पढ़ा रहा हूँ मैं सर स्ट्राइंग सर टेस्ट कर रहा है अच्छा सर देखना चाहते हैं कि कौन बच्चा ऐसे करता है सर ने नोटपैड खोला एक स्पेस दिया दो स्पेस दिया इज लिखा उसके बाद इंटरप्रेटेड फिर को और एंटर कर दिया सर पढ़ा रहे हैं सही में कोई बोलो तो ये माधव कॉल करो यार उनको तेरे को जब मैं पढ़ा समझ आ रहा है अहमन कुछ नहीं, नहीं लग रहा सर अरे पढ़ा तो तेरे को मैं समझ नहीं आ रहा <laughs> देखो सर ने पाइथन को सेलेक्ट किया और फिर इसको सिलेक्ट कर कर रहे थे पर नहीं किया नहीं रिकॉर्डिंग हो रहा है ये रिकॉर्डिंग हो रहा है ये 
कोई नहीं सर को भी तो पता लगे सर के भी हाफ पे मैं चार्ज ले लेता हूँ <laughs> सर ये रिकॉर्डिंग देखेंगे तब आएगा मजा सर एक चीज को तीन बार क्यों लिखेंगे सर वो सर की स्ट्रेटेजी है वो सर की स्ट्रेटेजी है सर पैटर्न बनाना चाहते हैं सर बताना चाहते हैं जो सर ने सिलेक्ट किया था अभी उसके अंदर कुछ गड़बड़ है मेंटर को बोलता हूं मैं मेंटर बड़ा सुनता है यार आजकल मेरा फोन ही नहीं उठा रहा भाई सर मीट भी नहीं खो रहे वरना पता लग जाएगा सर को ओ भाई वो तो मेल कर दिया यार अब क्या करें सर खोल लिया सर सर ने खोला क्यों था हेलो सर सर आवाज नहीं आ रही है वो इसे इस पार अपने में कैमरा ऑन करो कैमरा ऑन करो सर जैसे ही खोलेंगे ना हमारे को वो वाला जो गूगल मीट मेरा खाना आ गया हेलो <laughs> मेरे मेंटर को बोल दिया वो बोली नहीं देख रहे अच्छा सर आ गए हेलो देख लिया सर ने मैंने मैम को किया वो मैम को मेंटर को कॉल करके टैकर इन द हाउस कौन है भाई गुड नेम गुड हैकर इन द हाउस या गुड आफ्टरनून सर सर जस्ट टाइप यस नो इन द चैट विंडो यस सर यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस अगेन यस सर so my last program was writing the 10 random numbers in a file okay today i am going to teach you how to remove a particular word from a file so we have a file info.txt which is having python is interpreted it could be anything i am just saying python is interpreted okay and i want to remove a particular word it could be python it could be is or it could be interpreted okay so what i did i made a call to the main function so i went into the main function is it mandatory that you should write a main function no you could have written any name for it what i did was i made a call to the main in the main it accepted the file name and it accepted the word using which function using the input function so what is the name of the file it is f colon fh input dot info dot txt which is a word you want to remove i want to remove the word called as is that means file name is having f colon fh info.txt and word is having is i make a call to the function called as remove word control comes to the remove word so if you look over here what some of the programmers do it they don't write anything outside the function they write everything in the function you make make a call to the main control comes here then you accept the file name and word and make a call to the remove word if you look at my previous examples there was a main and i was writing the code over here there was a main i was calling the main okay here also here also 
but in this case what i did i made a call to the main and main is further saying do not do any work over here you could have you do the work in this particular remover can i write the entire code over here yes i could have written the entire code over here okay what is the advantage of this is for example assume that you are doing a project okay you are doing a project in this project someone tells you that write the information about the student such as roll number name address the course which they are enrolled it in a file okay so there is one function for reading the data there is one function for writing the data one function for updating the data all this could be split into multiple functions and that could be called from the main function and that's what happens in the real life also we do not put everything in the main we put it in a different different function what is the advantage of it for example my read function could be 10 lines write could be 5 lines update could be around 15 lines i need to concentrate only on those function if any error comes but if i write everything in the main and my python program is assume that around 2000 lines if i make one change i will have to go and check each and everything out over there whether this line is affecting any other part of the program but if i write it in the function then i have to just check those 10 or 15 lines hence we put the functionality in a different different files so this program is adhering to the best practice in the sense that if i tomorrow someone says instead of remove word remove line or append word you could simply add more functions over here and do the task so let's come back to our program i make a call to the remove word control comes here what is the file name file name is nothing but this particular path which i have entered okay what is word word is nothing but this particular word which i have entered and then what i do i use a variable called as read file read file is equal to open file name in the read mode what is this file name it is this particular file name in which mode read mode now what i need to do i need to read the entire contents okay so read the entire content put it in this particular read if you are getting confused between this read and this read don't worry you could change the name you could make it as a r or you could make, uh, declare it as any other variable data read something like this clear let me change this data and here i will change it to data Let us split do wherever it finds a space. It will put it in a data read. That means it will read one one word at a time and put it in data read. So data read is having the entire data. Now what is my headache? My headache is it should search each and every word out over there and wherever it is finding it, wherever it finds a word, it should be blanked out. It should be blanked out. So it starts reading. What is the first word? Python. What is the word we want to remove? We want to remove the word called as is. Is it matching? No. So what will happen? This will be false. But user can enter the data in any form. For example, when the data is written in the file, it could be upper case, it could be lower case, it could be upper case plus lower case, any case it could be. So what I do? I convert this particular I as well as that particular word by saying if word dot lower that is this particular word which i am sending now this is could be in any format it could be upper case lower case or i capital s lower case or i lower case s capital so i convert it into lower case in i dot lower what is i it is reading the first word from the data read what is the first word python is this is matching with this no so what will happen this if will be skipped and it will come over here that means this particular python is added to new string then it will read the second particular word what is the second word it is 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 this matching yes it is matching because second word is is my word sent past is is so what should happen simply add a blank that means a blank is added to the new string that means nothing is added see there is no space over here okay then read the next word what is the next word interpreted is it matching no so it won't add this it will add interpreted and this will happen for the entire contents of the file once it is done my new string is having python interpreted python interpreted python interpreted because is is removed because of this particular mechanism now what i do is i open the file which was opened in the read mode in the right mode so i open the same file in the right mode and i know that if you open the existing file in the right mode it is the contents are lost so contents are gone contents are gone blank 
Now what I do, I say write file dot write str new string. Strictly speaking, why str is required? Because in this case of write file is nothing but a pointer to it. Yes or no? And what is this new string? The new string is nothing but string. So actually, we do not need a str over here to write the contents. But in case if it was something else, then we'll have to convert it into str. So what we do, this new string is written in this particular file. Then what I do, I close this particular file. I close this particular file and it says file has been updated. So let me run this and let's type f colon fh in the file handling. What is the file name? Info.ht. Let me close this file. What is the word you want to remove? Please press enter and it says file has been updated. Let's go and check. Yes, what it has done? It has removed everything. See, my string was in a one particular line. So it has written that one particular line as it is. One particular line as it is. If you want a backslash in, then you should also copy the backslash in after each and every word or after each and every line. We'll see how to do that. So what this program is doing, this program is removing a word from the particular file. I think the file length will be too much. Let me copy it function by function. Kindly run this, then I will tell you what to do. Kindly run this. I'll give you two minutes to execute this. Okay, so now you must have executed it. I want one change in this program. What you should do is after writing the data in a file, I want you to open the file in the read mode and read the contents. I do not want to go to the folder and read the contents. I want you to write the three or four lines of code which will display the contents of the file. It should take two minutes. Do it. Yesterday only I taught you how to read the contents.
Is it done? If you have said, type yes. So what I told you, just write three lines of code which should read the contents. Okay, two minutes are over. I hope you must have written this code. What code you should have read? You should have read this particular line. Open the file in the read mode. Okay, read the data. Then what you should do? You should display the contents, right? So simply you should have displayed this particular I or you could have gone and simply said not this one. You could have simply said print input file dot read lines or you could have used open the file and simply said print s1 these four lines were required okay There is a program on your screen. You have to go through it and tell me what it is doing. This is called code comprehension. Someone else has written the code. Someone has written some comments. You have to go through it and tell me what it does. You have to write the answer in the chat window. At 12.14. Sorry, at 3.14. Okay, let's see some of the comments. If anyone has written, no comments. Sir, the code asks for the user to the file and then reads, then splits the obtain string to output the number of character, number of lines, and number of words written in a file. Good. So let me quickly explain what it is doing. This particular line is accepting a file name from the user. Let's assume it is this particular file. Okay. And we know that read will read the entire contents of the file. So the entire content is read and put it in this particular string file as it is. Whatever is there in the file, it will be read and put it out over there. It is assumed that the data entered in data entered and stored in the file will have the spaces. Because based on that only they have said count the number of lines and words. I know a function called as split because data now has been read from the file and stored it in a variable string file. So I will use a split command to split it and store it in the word. Store it in the word. Okay. <clears throat> After that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say someone is equal to zero. 
for i in words someone is equal to length of i someone is equal to length of i okay so what this is going to do this is going to go through the entire words okay one by one and it is going to count it and it is going to count it right so if i say someone over here it is going to count the number of characters total with spaces and everything included understood what is this str length of string file dot split words is going to give me it is going to count the number of words because this particular data is splitting the words based on the space going to count the length of it if there are around eight words this is going to give me eight okay this is eight and this is string words so i need to convert eight into string by saying str because whenever i use a plus if one is a string and this length is a integer i cannot add integer to a string so i need to convert it into str done the question is there is a lines also over here so how what constitutes a line a backslash and constitutes a particular line so now what will happen i will say string file dot split now split based on what by default split will split on the spaces but i want to split based on the character i am mentioning so it is backslash n backslash n and it should give me the number of lines now for this to work let me go to info.txt and let's do one thing oh sorry let's have this and in the last case i'll take it as a single word let's save this okay this is the final name. let's now run this program what is the file name f colon fh and the file name is info.txt what it says is there are 51 characters five words and four lines let's check it out one two three four and five there are five words how many lines one two three and there is an enter over here can you see this because of this enter it has come over here there are four lines okay and how many characters 51 characters that means each and every character that means it has taken one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and this backslash and also so everything will be taken and that will be constituting the number of characters clear run it then i will tell you what you are supposed to do Backslash n will also be treated as a character when it is counting the number of characters. It's a escape sequence, but it will be treated for counting the number of characters.
One, two, three, four, five, six, space, seven, eight. Yeah, the spaces and backslash n is not taking because for i in word, it will not take the spaces along with it. Okay, so kindly pay attention for i in word is only going to take the word without any spaces and backslash n. So it is not going to count the spaces and the backslash n. Okay, correction. Correction, it won't take the spaces and backslash and because my loop says for i in word. So what will happen? It is using the split command. So as soon as the space is found, it will stop, it will take the word and it will do it. Now, I hope you must have executed it. Now what you are supposed to do? Now uh, these are the contents of the file. Now instead of having the space as a delimiter, hash is given as a delimiter. That means I want you to make the changes in the program so that my split should work for hash. That means it should take this as a first word, second word, third word, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. That means wherever hash is found, it should take it as a word. Make the changes in the program. Only one change you have to make at one particular place and it should run. You have to make changes in one particular line in this and the program should run. So tell me which is the line you have to make the changes. Yes, you should be using word is equal to string file dot split hash for a very simple reason. In this case, the split works on the spaces. Now, what is the split delimiter they have mentioned? They have mentioned it as a hash. So you should place it in the hash. Good. Okay, now let's see what is this program supposed to do. This particular program is going to accept two things in a single line. Is it allowed? Yes. I file and O file. That is the input file name and output file name. Enter the name of the input and output file. Okay. So if the input and output file are supposed to be written in a single file, how you are going to write it? How is What is the delimiter? Either it could be a space or it could be comma. They have given it as a comma. Fine. Then what I do, I make a call to the encrypt. Okay. I make a call to the encrypt. So encrypt is a function, user defined function, which takes two parameters. One is an input file, another is a output file. The first file, input file, is opened in which mode? It's opened in the read mode. The second file is opened in which mode? Write mode. That is a write binary mode. Okay. For line in in file, so what it is going to do? 
it is going to read the contents of this particular input file okay read the contents for word in line for character in word c character is getting mapped to word word is picked up from the line line is picked up from the in file what i am going to do i am go simply going to use a package called as pickle what is this pickle supposed to do it is supposed to encrypt it encrypt the data based on what mechanism whatever mechanism has been told and the mechanism they have told is something like this take a character data okay apply the ord function okay add file to it convert it into character okay and write it in this particular file write it into this particular file what it does is it takes a single character ORD will give me the integer number of that particular character, add file to it, convert it into character and write it in the file. So how we are going to do? So this particular R indicates that we are going to take an input file. Let's take the file as mm, info.txt. Let's take the same file. Okay. And what does the B over here indicates? It is it is going to dump the data okay it is going to dump the data you cannot see the contents if you try to open it that is the beauty of the pickle pickle will simply dump the contents based on whatever mechanism you have given what do you mean by this i'll explain it so you may ask a question if this is not going to display anything why we have put a print if i do not put a print over here i will never realize what is the message i'm going to get here after doing all this what i'm saying i'm saying done so what it should do it should give me the message called as done so let me just run this and show it to you how it is working let's say it is f colon fh and i will use info.ext comma f colon fh here i will use a file called as i here i will use a file called as i let's do i.txt are they separated by the comma yes they are separated by the comma let's press enter and let's check what happens so i entered the file name input file name and output file name input file name was info.txt output file name was i.txt it made a call to the encrypt control went to encrypt it did the encryption close both the file it written the done that was displayed over here okay so let's go to that particular folder see the info.txt so this is the text let's go to the file called as i.txt and if you go and try to open the i.txt you will get the garbage data you'll get the garbage data you cannot see the contents by opening the file similar thing happens normally what happens is in for example in a bank transaction let's assume let's assume it is only the assumption otherwise anyone can't access your data okay not even the manager can access your data just for the assumption assume that you have written an application a dummy application for the bank in which they say that you write accept the employee accept the uh, customer id customer name the balance okay the money to be deposited or money to be removed okay and once it is done once all the validations are done click on the save then what will happen the file will get saved on the hard disk and if the file will get saved on the hard disk i can open that particular file and see the content like how i am in a position to see the content that shouldn't happen that shouldn't happen so if i try to open a file you won't be see, in a position to see the data why because of this particular chap can you see this b so what does b means it's a binary file which are the binary file if you take word document into consideration it's a binary file it's not a text file your notepad is a text file okay your word document excel documents are not word file why because it's a proprietary mechanism of writing it to open that particular file i will be needing a i'll be needing a software compatible to open it in a doc file that is a word or word pad something like that i'll be needing it i cannot open the word document in the notepad because it's a binary file it's a binary file so all the real life data in case of bank what will happen is it will be stored on the cloud so even manager can't access it even the your data entry operator also cannot be having the access to it 
okay but whenever whenever we are doing the file handling we'll be always using rb and wb that means if in case you want to read the data now you will have to write one more function called as decrypt to decrypt this particular content quickly run this you cannot open the output file you will have to write one more program for reading the contents of that file let's see that particular program so when we were dumping the data in a file what we did we said pickle dot dump character ord character plus file take the ascii value add file to it convert it into character write it so we'll have to do the same thing over here take this particular as get a ord value from it subtract minus 5 to it and display the character it should be the same data it should be the same data okay let's try to run this so what we need to do we need to open the file in the read mode why binary because we have written the data as a binary what was that file name it was i.txt from where we are reading the contents okay so let's do one thing let's say f colon fh what is the file name we are going to read i.txt it's a binary file comma now read the data from the binary file and put it in some other file f colon fh i1 dot txt okay and that will be in the right mode because we'll be reading the data from the binary file i dot txt and writing the contents on another file i1 dot txt okay let's see it says done let's really check whether it has done the task or not so what was my original contents it was i dot txt it was i dot txt i dot txt is a binary file 
Now let me open this i1.txt. What I get? The original contents. If you look at my first program from where we read the content, we read the content from info.txt. We read the content from info.txt and where we wrote it, we wrote it in i.txt, which is a binary file. Now I decrypted this particular i.txt and wrote the content in i1.txt. So this is the same contents as the info.txt, proving that whatever mechanism we have used, we have decrypted it. There is, this is something called as an exception handling. This is something called as an exception handling. If you're trying to read a file which doesn't have the permission, you haven't been given the permission, then you could catch it using something called as a try catch block. Right now it is not required. All these programs have been uploaded. Kindly pay attention. In this particular decrypt, the document has been uploaded in batch 156. Kindly check the indentation.
ओके सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस केस इज इफ आई रिमूव दिस ट्राई कैच ब्लॉक इट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस वाइल एस नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो आउटपुट फाइल डॉट राइट कैरेक्टर ओ आर डी एस माइनस फाइव ओके सो वॉट हैपन वॉज इट वॉज राइटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर कैरेक्टर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग फाइव फ्रॉम इट एंड राइटिंग इट देन इट वॉज ट्राइंग टू लोड द फाइल अगेन एंड देन इफ इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू नल इट वॉज इन अ पोजिशन टू डू इट but when there is no more data what should happen this exception should handle it and it should close both the file it should close both the file okay but if i remove this try catch this particular line is going in and trying to read beyond the end of the file see if you look over here ran out of input that means it was going to go beyond the end of the file that's what i guess is causing this particular error let me run it again and check it h i q you will have to include a try catch return mechanism because this is going to go beyond the end of the file and it will give me an error so i hope it is running my next example is how i could write a dictionary to a particular file there is a dictionary which says geek 1 super geek okay geek 1 super geek colon true for colon geeky and then we are supposed to write this data in a file so i say f is equal to f open dictionary file dot txt right open it in the right mode and write the contents as a string to the dictionary close this particular file close this particular file the code is not indented you have to make the necessary changes and make the program run make the program run the next program will again have some error indentation error now this is opening the file in the a mode a stands for append that means if you continuously run this program what should happen it should append the contents kindly execute this two program and check whether it is in a position to write a dictionary to a file or not
okay i hope you have made it it's running a third program is writing a dictionary using a pickle you will write a program to read the contents of this particular file see i have not written any code to read the contents for this particular third program i want you to write a program which will read the contents from this particular file Okay, all of you, please pay attention. Seventh of Jan will be your FA four, two forty-five to three forty-five. There will be fifteen MCQ and one coding question. Clear? Understood? The extra class for the preparation of your FA four and ST two will be conducted on thirty first. Is it clear? The extra class for preparing you for this particular FA along with ST two. Will be conducted on thirty thirty first. As soon as you come, see as soon as you come from the vacations. After that, all the tests will start. Sir, syllabus क्या होगा F four का? Yeah, everything will be told to you. Okay, when we will be taking that class on thirty first. The class will okay, be sir. from eleven o'clock to twelve thirty. Okay, the link will be there. Okay. With the link will be shared with you. As per the coding ninja, let me just open it. It should be list tuples, list tuples and dictionary, list tuples and dictionary. the syllabus for both of them will be list multi dimensional list tuples dictionary
for st2 yes searching and sorting will be there okay the test will be conducted in your code question platform the test will be conducted in your code question platform this file handling document is already uploaded on your batch 156 class notes there is a message from karan sir and the message is the project is getting uploaded successfully okay try it out in case you have any difficulty you can reach karan sir i think for iwt ff5 is taken as a project i guess so that is uploaded successfully so in case you are not in a position to do it kindly you can ask the question to karan sir any other query you have see there was a doubt in one particular question okay there is a doubt on one particular question that particular question has been taken out and then the marks will be uploaded one question had a wrong answer that won't be taken into consideration that means you will be evaluated out of the remaining questions you can ignore the indentation error okay you can ignore the indentation error because if there is a slight space then also it is good normally in the indentation error the message error option will be indentation error not none of the above if there is even a single space it is not an indentation error if you try to copy paste it and run it in the online compiler then obviously it is going to give you an error i guess in the next week immediately after the vacation we will be having vacation from wednesday to sunday okay third what well, 31st i am going to take one lecture okay but i'll update you according to that it will be mostly for one and a half hours that should prepare you for the next st as well as this fa i guess immediately after you come back you have an fa on iwt do you have an st on the 9th of jan for iwt okay you are not aware of it okay fine see what happened satyam is when your course started when your course started there is a automatic bot out over there okay once we schedule the classes it will keep on sending it till your classes get over in the month of jan so it's a default message it will keep on coming once we schedule the class for the entire two months it will keep on coming whether it's a holiday or not so that's why i'm making an announcement that the winter break is from wednesday till sunday
Clear? Any other doubt? Okay. Problem number 127. Answer roll call 127, 162, 1220, 1253 Seven eight two seven nine two eight zero. Eight one two eight three two eight five two eight six. One two eight seven. Two eight eight one two eight nine one two nine zero. One two nine zero one two nine two one two nine three one two nine four. One two nine six one two nine seven one two nine eight one two nine nine. One three zero one one three zero two one three zero three. One three zero four one three zero five. Three zero six three zero zero four three zero one four zero three nine 
Five zero four nine five zero five one. Other queries. One two eight seven noted. See, you can see the screen. One two eight seven. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, there is no absent in front of it. Sir, uh, uh, I can present. Uh, Yes, Gaurav. What is the query? Yeah, you are present, Gaurav. Sir, present. Yes, yes. Sir, how can we see? In the chalk pad, you can go over here. The screen uh, not visible now. Chalk pad, please. Uh, uh, method uh, why we check chalk pad. Okay. Okay, so now there is a vacation. As soon as you come out of the vacation, you can see the contents of your attendance. ठीक है? Okay, sir. Sir, please. Uh, my screen screen is not visible on chalk pad. Your name is not visible on the chalk pad, right? Sir, name, make it visible. Don't worry. Okay. Can you access the chalk pad? But uh, sir, access नहीं हो रहा chalk pad. मैंने कई बार वो open करी थी screen password वगैरह लगाया था. अच्छा आपको अकाउंट नहीं दिख रहा है ओके okay. सर वो एक्सेस ही नहीं हो रहा स्क्रीन मैंने वो सारा इंक्वायरी वो फॉर्म में फिल करी ना ओपन ही नहीं हो रहा पता नहीं क्या प्रॉब्लम आ रही है पांच दस बार ओपन कर लिया सर उसको चलो कोई नहीं आपके मेंटर कौन है बेटा डॉक्टर ने, नेहा मैम चलो कोई नहीं मैं अभी नहीं होगा छुट्टियों के बाद इमिडिएटली वो फर्स्ट स्टेप वो कॉर्डिनेशन करके आपका चौक पैड एक्सेस आपको दे देंगे ठीक है ओके सर थैंक यू Anything else? So utilize these holidays properly in preparing because after that, what will happen is in the month of January you will have ST two, you will have ST three. There will be a end term exams. Okay, you'll be flooded with the exams. So kindly utilize the five days in preparing two hours daily for Python, two hours daily for IWT. Aman, Aman, the Coding Ninja platform is such that Coding Ninja platform is such that once a course is launched, once a course is launched, there is a deadline. That is the default setting of the Coding Ninja. But for the Chitkara, we are not considering the deadline. What deadline? चलते रहेंगे. You don't worry about it. What? Sir. हाँ. सर तो वो पिछला मतलब जो पुराने थे ना उस उस समय फिफ्टी परसेंट ही स्कोर मिला हाँ, लेकिन वो स्कोर हम नहीं देख रहे हैं ओके सर द स्कोर इज नॉट टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन ठीक है लेकिन एक बात मैं बताता हूं वो क्या होता है करके एज्यूम दैट एक थर्ड ईयर का बच्चा है या फोर्थ ईयर का बच्चा है ठीक है एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू गिव एन इंटरव्यू आफ्टर वन मंथ सो ही टेक्स अ प्राइवेट एडमिशन इन टू कोडिंग निंजा एंड to see that a student makes a progress within a month month to complete this particular course they put a deadline out over there ek mahine mein complete karna hai so accordingly they will put a deadline agar deadline miss hoti hai that means you are not working hard enough for it yes sir for working professional ye python ka course teen din mein khatam hona chahiye that means subah se shaam wo baithe rahenge karte rahenge why because they are already in the fourth year and they have to complete it in a weeks time understood clear yes, so my humble request is something like this have a planner ek excel file bana lo 
जिसमें आप डेली का टू आवर्स पाइथन पे काम करो डेली का टू आवर्स आईडब्ल्यू टी का इससे डिविएट नहीं होना है इससे ज्यादा काम करो तो अच्छा ही है आई थिंक यू ऑल्सो हैव अ डिजाइन थिंकिंग राइट ओके दैट विल बी द एंड ऑफ द सेशन ओके आई कांट से एंजॉय द हॉलीडेज बट आई विल से स्टे सेफ फाइन सर हेलो सर कल मास्टर क्लास में तो हनीना कोई आईडब्ल्यूटी वगैरह अटेंडेंस सर मेरा नेट इशू हो गया था सर अटेंडेंस सर मेरा हो गया सर क्या अटेंडेंस हो गया मेरा सर आपने अटेंडेंस ही नहीं दिया जब मैं कॉल कर रहा था सर नेट ही चला गया सर फिर आया सर अभी अच्छा आप सिर्फ अटेंडेंस के लिए आते हो मैंने देखा है कभी भी आपको नहीं सर नहीं सर ऐसा नहीं है क्लास में कुछ क्वेश्चन नहीं अटेंडेंस में कुछ क्वेश्चन नहीं देखो क्या होता है ना मैं बताता हूँ आपको कोडिंग कर रहा हूँ सर ये सॉफ्टवेयर है ना ये सॉफ्टवेयर है ना यहाँ इसके अंदर एक अटेंडेंस करके रहता है परचेस कर लिया है जैसे ही बच्चा लॉग इन करता है ना वो पता चल जाता है और जैसा बच्चा बाहर जाता है ना वो भी पता चलता है तो पूरी डिफॉल्टर की लिस्ट आ जाती है कि कितना बच्चा कब तक कहां से है करके तो आपका आईडी क्या है वन टू नाइन टू सर लास्ट सर ऑल नंबर सर अटेंडेंस सर लगाता हूँ सर पढ़ाई भी करता हूँ सर All the best, okay. Do well. Okay. So join me for the extra class. That link will be shared by the you. Okay, sir. So.